In this example of phagocytosis, a white blood cell called a neutrophil will ingest and digest a microbe. It has receptors on its cell membrane which recognize microbes, and when a microbe binds to these receptors, this can initiate the process of phagocytosis. After the microbe binds, the cell membrane begins to engulf inward, forming a pocket pulling the microbe into the interior of the cell. Extensions of the cell membrane, known as pseudopods or false feet, begin to encircle the microbe. Once these pseudopods fuse, they will then completely contain the microbe in an internal membrane bag known as a vesicle. This is no longer a pocket, but an internal membrane bag known as a vesicle. Inside the cell, the vesicle can fuse with lysosomes. These lysosomes are vesicles which contain digestive enzymes in an acidic juice. Lysosomes are formed at the Golgi as digestive enzymes are targeted to be packaged together in bags which will become acidic as they pump protons. The digestive enzymes from the lysosomes, after fusing with the vesicle, then begin the breakdown of the microbe. This kills it, and as it is broken down, nutrients can be absorbed into the cell. The vesicle is lined by the cell membrane remnants, after all, and the cell membrane functions in transport. So, after being digested by the acid and digestive enzymes the lysosomes brought, then the microbe has uh, been broken into pieces and some can be absorbed. A vesicle may contain undigestible waste. Such a vesicle may be moved to the cell membrane in the process of exocytosis. As the vesicle fuses with the cell membrane, this waste can be expelled from the cell.